The alignment tools in Adobe Illustrator are for a lot more than just centering things on your artboard. Welcome back designers, my name is Mike Pickett. This channel is all about helping you become a better logo and vector designer. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the alignment tools. Now, like I said in the start, it's for so much more than just aligning objects on your artboard. You can align objects to key items, you can align objects to the artboard, but you can use it for aligning to the top, the left, the bottom. You can also distribute items evenly, either within a group or based on the artboard itself. Now, this is your first time here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you picked up. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Hop over to Illustrator and I'll show you all about the alignment tools. All right, designer, so I went ahead inside of Illustrator here and I've created a couple of shapes that we're gonna use for the alignment tools. Now I've got something else kind of off to the side of the artboard that we'll pull on in a minute to show you, not advanced, but just some different methods that I use for aligning items. So the very basic function of the align tool is to help you align things on your artboard. If you don't have your alignment tools up, you can go over to this little icon here and click on that and it'll give you this flyout panel. You can also go up to window and down to align or hit shift F7 on your keyboard for the keyboard shortcut. So once we have this out, I'm just gonna select my circle here. And if you see down here in the bottom, this is what we're gonna align to. So right now it's selected onto the artboard. You can also go align to selection, which we'll do in a minute. And you can go align to key object, which we'll do a little bit further on in the video. So now to center this to the artboard, I'm gonna hit horizontal align center and vertical align center. And that's going to be right on the center point of my artboard. Pretty simple so far. Now let's say I wanna align this square to the circle. Well, because I know this is in the center, I could do exactly the same thing. But what if our circle was right up here? So I'm gonna highlight both of our shapes and now I've still got aligned artboard selected. We don't want that, because if I do that, it's just gonna put everything back in the center. I wanna to align to this circle. Well, if I go down here to align to selection, that's not what I want either, because then it's gonna give me an average and it's gonna end up somewhere around in here in this white space. If I go align to key object, just from this drop down, it's going to select the last object that you drew. So for example, if I come over here and grab my star tool, and we're just gonna draw out a quick star, and now if I highlight all three of these and again go here, align the key object, it's gonna grab the star because that was the last piece that I drew. So if you wanna always make sure that you're aligning to the object you want, what we can do is highlight both of these and then with both of them highlighted, I'm gonna click on the circle. And you see how I get that dark line so that sort of double highlight on the circle? That's now become my key object. And I can tell that because you can see the little key in this box right down here. So now if I go horizontal align, vertical align, it aligns to my circle. So let's pull something else in here because that's kind of the basics of this, but let's go over here and I'm gonna grab this vector art piece that I did. I'm just gonna drag it over. I've got a lot of it ungrouped, so I can't actually center it. You know what, let's just, let's highlight the whole thing. We'll group it and I'll just make sure we're centered up. I'm gonna ungroup, shift command G to ungroup. And you can see there's a few issues that we've got here. So we have like this little square or this rectangles falling out of that armature piece. We've got some dots down here for the speaker that are out of alignment. And then we've also got this line here. So this segment should be aligned with these bottom ones. So let's handle all of these using our alignment tool. And we're gonna get a little bit into this distribute spacing as well. So you can kind of see how that works. Let's start up here with this one. This one's pretty easy to do. We're, we're gonna use pretty much the same method that we just did. Now I'm gonna highlight this and then just Command Plus to zoom in on that object. So as you can see, this is kind of out of alignment here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab both of them. So I'm gonna Shift click. I already had the first one selected. So let's do that again. So I'm gonna click on the first one. Then I'm gonna Shift click back here on the gray. And again, we wanna use that key object for this one. So I'm gonna then click on my outer shape and we get that thick border. Now I know that that's my key object and we can do our align to center on both of them and everything's all fixed there. Let's move down here to where we've got our dots. Now these ones are kind of out of whack because I've got this row here that we need some distribution or some equal spacing on this. 
And if I look at it, I think this one's also out of alignment here because these should be evenly spaced top to bottom as well. So let's handle this first. I'm gonna get this one lined up. This is pretty easy. I'm just gonna to go to those two, key object, and I'm gonna to align to top. But now I want these ones to be evenly distributed across that horizontal axis. So I'm gonna grab all of these. And we have a couple of different options. I can use either this one here, which is horizontal distribute center. Everything's all lined up. I'm gonna command Z and go back. Or I can also use this distribute spacing and I get the same effect. So either one, they both work the same way for this type of application. Now these ones are good, they're all lined up center. This one, I've got the same issue with. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. I'm gonna distribute center. Now, I need to space this one between these. So I could grab this and this, and let's go here to this. So because this one's grouped together, this is a single object, it kind of distributes everything equally on that vertical through that diagonal. So let me back up here. Now what if we use this one here? Well, we get the same thing. So in this case, because I want this to be aligned in between these, I wanna make some groups here. So I'm gonna start out by grabbing these ones and I'm gonna group those. And then I'm just gonna grab these two. So you see how this is a group already? Well, I can use this as another group and then highlight both of those and then use this as my key object. And now, we're gonna use this one. So let's handle our last one. And this one, we're actually gonna look at how we can use anchor points instead of objects with the alignment tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my A on my keyboard, which is my direct selection tool. And with this, I can grab just points. So we're gonna grab those three points. Now, the key with this is that you need to be aware of what you're actually picking last. So the reason this is important is that with your aligning points, the last point that you grab is the point that everything's going to align to. So I've got these three selected. Now what I want to align it to is I want them all to align on this plane right here because I want this to match up as kind of that shadow piece for this one. So I'm going to shift click again on this anchor. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go vertical align bottom. And that pushes everything down to that bottom alignment. Now these are all lined up together. So as you can see, just like most of the tools we've looked at before on this channel, there's just so many things you can do with the alignment tool. If you're looking to learn more about the tools inside of Adobe Illustrator, I've got a great playlist right up here that you can find 20 Illustrator tools in 20 days. There's also a lot of other tool related tutorials on this channel and more to come. All right, so that's it for this one, designers. I get to get back to work now, and I'm actually working on my next podcast episode. If you didn't know, I do have a podcast called The Vector Path Podcast, and it's all about my journey into becoming a designer again. I'll put it that way. But I hope to see you back here on the channel. Now get out there and design something, and I'll see you in the next one. Shameless plug, what can I say?